The images that you are seeing are of Meteor Crater, Arizona. At this site in Arizona, about 50,000 years ago, a meteorite, which is thought to have been about 150 feet wide, impacted making a crater which is a little less than a mile in diameter. It is estimated that about half of the meteorite was vaporized during entry and most of the remainder was vaporized upon impact. This is truly an impressive sight to see and also impressive if it allows us to better conceptualize other impacts like the one that ended the Mesozoic era more clearly. 65 million years ago, an asteroid, which was about six miles wide, impacted Earth at the site where uh, Mexico and Guatemala meet, forming the Chicxulub uh, Crater, which is about 110 miles wide. So compare that to the previous crater, which was under one mile in diameter. This impact would have been four and a half billion times more powerful than the first atomic bomb. It would have instantly caused mega tsunamis, which would have measured over 100 meters in height, and caused trillions of metric tons of material to be ejected. Some of this would have been thrown into the atmosphere, and as it re-entered, this would have been an incredible uh, number of tiny meteorites, and as they burned upon re-entry, this would have greatly increased global temperature, causing a spike in temperatures, which would have caused wildfires, at least in North America, and potentially globally. The longer-term effects of this impact included the acidification of the oceans and the loss of sunlight, which might have caused an impact winter lasting several months to a year due to all of the debris blocking sunlight. An estimated 60 to 75 a percent of all life became extinct, and this would include many Mesozoic groups which would not survive into the Cenozoic, such as the majority of dinosaurs other than birds, the last of the pterosaurs, the dominant group of birds, the Enantiornithine birds, marine reptiles like mosasaurs and plesiosaurs, invertebrates such as ammonoids and rudus clans, clams in the ocean, some mammals, some plants, even some microscopic groups such as some foraminiferans, so this meteorite impact was either the single cause or one of several major causes. So, for example, perhaps the very large volcanic eruptions in India at that time were also having a role of one of the biggest extinctions in the history of life.